inside of our public folder go ahead and create a new folder called assets and inside of assets uh, create another folder called JS and inside of assets create another folder called CS actually I meant CSS and one more called fonts all right so pretty pretty obvious in which direction this is going to this is where we're going to save all of our you know front end design stuff now uh, a lot of tutorials you'll see online will tell you to use CDNs and basically what that means is you don't actually download the files but instead they're uh, streamed online that's useful and you save a lot of um, I guess data usage in your application and it's faster to set up to I don't like to use that because sometimes I'm not online or sometimes uh, I find it faster to use local files um, so that's how I'm gonna teach you but I'll show you both ways anyway so we'll, first what we want to do is go to the bootstrap website just type in get bootstrap.com and uh, so if you go here to examples go ahead and click that um, and Bootstrap already gives you um, basic examples to use for your application, right? And then you can build off of it. Now, I should probably explain really quick that uh, basically what Bootstrap is, it's a framework, a front-end framework that helps you build responsive designs. And what that means essentially is create websites really fast that can adjust to whatever device you're using, whether it be a laptop, a iPhone, whatever. Um, that's kind of the gist of it. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it, but I'll just kind of give you the simple basics of it. So, go ahead and click on this example, the Bootstrap theme example right here, and then uh, there's probably different ways to do this depending on what browser you're on. I'm on Google Chrome, um, but basically what you do is hit Control U, and it gives you all the HTML of the website, and then you could probably go to like View or, or something in here. To, um, to get that up but I just hit control U and it pulls up all the HTML and I'm just gonna copy it and use it in my website right so I'm basically just stealing all their code um, so it's basically gonna give you this exact template so go back to the HTML page that we created the index page right and replace all of that with the bootstrap right and this is what it looks like um, and so scroll to the very bottom and right here right above container we're gonna go ahead and cut all this out all the way up to the top when you get to like the buttons go ahead and do let's say up to here okay and so basically now all we have is the banner and and the um, all the main files like the navigation okay so this part this is where you can do one of two things you can either download bootstrap or you can use the CDNs right so CDNs are right here on the main page all you have to do is just copy them and then paste them here in the HTML file really easy to do however I'm going to download them so what you do is you just hit download bootstrap and uh, so go ahead and download that or use the CDN based on you know whatever your preference is there's also other ways to install it like npm um, but I just like to use the download version and make sure I get the most current I mean I'm sure they're up to date here as well but just how I'm used to using doing it so um, once you download that file you're gonna get um, these three folders you get CSS fonts and JS and so pretty obvious what we're gonna do here we're gonna just copy all of this into the application Okay, so here we are. If you go into public and assets, this is every everything we're going to be copying and pasting is in here. So I'll start off with JS. I'll just copy and paste all of the bootstrap and then go back to the bootstrap file, go into fonts, copy all of those, go back to assets, and you get the gist of what we're doing here. Some of these files um, you don't need, but I'm just copying everything over um, because I don't know if I'll need it later on and I don't want to go searching for it, so I'm fine with doing it this way. So while we're at it, we'll go ahead and download all the Angular and uh, jQuery stuff. 
Um, just type in AngularJS on Google or jQuery, and it's very simple to download. Um, I'm using AngularJS 1 for right now because I'm not, I haven't started using Angular 2 yet. So um, when you download Angular, make sure you you um, download the zip file because it has all the Angular files that we're going to be needing. Um, and so this is what it looks like when you download it. It has a bunch of stuff. All, it basically has all the Angular files that you can use. Um, and so the ones that matter to us is going to be the the Angular file, the Angular.js, and the animate. So we'll just do a copy of this, and then the route.js, all three of those, and then I think that's it. Let me do a quick double check. Okay, yeah, that's all we're going to use for now. So go ahead and paste that into your JS folder in the application. Okay, and then make sure to copy over your jQuery file when you download it as well jQuery just comes with that one single file. Alright, so now we can go back into uh, Sublime. Now, in the HTML file at the very top, you want to go ahead and you can actually just delete all this. You're not going to need any of it. Delete this. Okay. Alright. And then you can delete... Okay, so if you go into the assets uh, folder, you'll see all of our files here. The first thing we're going to do is going to link to the Bootstrap CSS. So go ahead and just type in link, create your your link to your style sheet, all right? And um, so one thing to note is that we provided access to the public folder. Um, if you remember in our server file, right? And uh, just to recap, this is what that looks like um, right here. So that being said, you do, all you have to do is type in everything after the public file, right? So that's going to be public um, assets, right? So assets, then CSS, and then the file that we want to link in. We'll just do bootstrap.cs. Oops, not JS. CSS. All right. And so that's the only style sheet that we want for right now. And then we're going to go to the very bottom. And underneath, right here, the very bottom of the body, I'm going to go ahead and link a script. And it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be assets slash JS. And then we're going to do bootstrap.js. Okay. Go ahead and hit save there. All right, and so let's go ahead and test this out and see if everything is wiring up correctly. So go ahead and hit refresh on your page, and you should see all the Bootstrap stuff, right? Now, if you see the drop-down menu is not working because we haven't imported jQuery yet, right? So at the bottom underneath this one, go ahead and type in script again, and assets, JS, and it's going to be, if you look over here, jQuery. 3.1.min.js. Okay, and actually, what you want to do is have the jQuery before the bootstrap um, because it needs to load it first before, before bootstrap's JavaScript. So hit save and then go ahead and refresh, and you'll see a working drop down menu. There we go, our JavaScript is loaded correctly. So, um, Let's go ahead and map to our Angular stuff. Now, I don't know if uh, Angular file should be at the bottom here too, but I don't like to do it that way because I like our, my Angular to load first since that's what's going to be running the front end application. So right down here, we're going to put script src. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that real quick because I'm going to use it there. Okay. So the first one we're going to use is the Angular file, so assets.js, angular.js, assets.js, routes, oops, angular, route.js. 
Node.js. There we go. So that's what these two look like, and that's this file right here and the Angular route. So just as a reminder, you can bypass all of this using the Bootstrap CDN. If you copy this and just paste it in, in lieu of all of this that we just entered, then you don't need to do any of this. However, you will have to go into the uh, Angular website. And like, for example, if you click this here, it gives you a CDN right here. And all you have to do to get all the other CDNs, right, for like, say, remember we created two, angular.route. It's just the same exact file path, but instead of angular.min.js, you would put angular, whatever it is, tack route.js. Um, so that's how you do that. But I, like I said, I like to do it this way. Even jQuery has their own CDN. Um, so, but I like to use the files um, because they're faster for me. So that's all we're going to do for right now. After this, um, in our next video, we're going to go ahead and start creating our first routes to get Angular up and running.